All right, guys, it's day seven here at the World Championships. We have some massive matches today. It's the last lot of matches for the last 16 this morning, Xu Xing versus Lin Gu Yan and Dimitri Ocho versus Koki Niwa. Later today, we have the women's singles final, men's doubles, and also the quarterfinals in the evening. Some big matches. So right now, we have a huge battle going on between two Chinese stars, Lin Gu Yan and Xu Xing. Impressively, these two boys were warming up in the practice of earlier on. Let's check them out here. So two sets each, Xu Xing versus Lin Gu Yan. In the last 16 of the World Championships. Moto's coach here watching closely the match between Xu Xing and Lingu Yan. Winner of this game will play Harimoto. He's probably trying to look for weaknesses. Johnny Ho in there just with the crowd buzzing. One incredible man. Here we go, we're in the seventh set. There was a timeout call. 5-3 to Lingu Yan. Oh. 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 Shushi, am Ende hat er seine ganze Erfahrung eingesetzt. Indian must be gutted. Und zieht in das Viertelfinale ein. Shishin China. Widmen wir uns so langsam aber sicher dem ersten weiteren Höhepunkt des heutigen Tages, dem Spiel zwischen Dimitri Ovtcharov und Koki Lieber. In wenigen Augenblicken ist es soweit und wir haben aber auch heute wieder unser Orakel im Zoo Duisburg gefragt, wie es denn ausgehen wird. Gestern lag. Das Ziel ja falsch. Bei der Persisch-Weltmeisterschaft in Düsseldorf 2017 und unser Orakel Panda Pushpa soll es heute wieder nicht. Achtelfinale. Oh. Dimitri Offshore. Really getting involved here, I'm loving it. Oh. 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 The best match of the tournament so far. Oh. 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 Long warming up for his match up against Timo Ball. Women's singles final. Ding Ning Ju Ling. Oh. 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 probably seen that serve a million times. Yet still, 
world class surfing thing is working. There it is again. Ding Ning and Zhu Ling are tied at one set each. Ooh. And Zhu Ling get her first victory in the World Championships. Oh. Congratulations, you are world champion again. How do you feel? She says the hard work has really paid off and it's she didn't think that she would win and it's not only her work, it's the entire Chinese national team working behind her and she hopes that they also get some acknowledgement. Das ist toll, sehr schön. So, ja, Winken ist auch schön, aber Küssen ist noch viel besser. Ah, ein Applaus für das junge Paar hier oben. Offensichtlich haben sie alle ihren Rücken. Nee, die beiden gehören nicht zusammen. Das kann ich doch gar nicht sein. Bitte schön, bitte schön. Ah, genau. Okay, jetzt zu einer Umarmung. Also, meine Damen und Herren, Zeit nochmal durchzuatmen. Crowd are going wild here. Ma Long leads 2 1. However, Timo Boll is up in this set. Can the German do it?
da ist der Traum. With the performance, I was very satisfied. Um, yeah, you are forced to do some mistakes of the placement because he's he's very aggressive. And but I played quite precise, and especially in the receives. Um, otherwise, I couldn't uh, handle him and. Uh, Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, win the sixth set, set after leading quite high and made some, I don't want to say bad decisions, but he forced me to play not on the perfect point, so that's his quality, yeah, you have always a lot of pressure and um, you need to play the ball on the right placement or with the right speed and spin and this makes it really difficult against him and this is his, his big quality. Yeah, it looked the serve receive was so difficult. I could see often when you were turning the serve, you're really trying to keep it tight. Yeah. What makes his serve so effective? Obviously you've played every player in the world. Players. What makes his serves and return so difficult? It's coming really fast and it has a good length. And it's hard to play aggressive on it because he has a lot of variations, small variations, but he needs just a receive which is maybe two or three centimeters too long or too high and that's enough for him to, to have these killer shots. And, um, so you're always under pressure and you have to read this up. Sometimes you have, you have to risk a little bit and very mentally very tough and um, yeah that's that's the key against him to to be mentally also at 100 percent during the whole game and also you had the german spectators behind you how was that did that ever put you off at all to really intense or did you not even hear them you were so focused i was very focused of course but it helps you to to be in a tunnel yeah the crowd is behind you and then um, the game is getting more intensive and then you are even more in the tunnel so it helps a lot. And last week, do you think anyone's going to be able to stop Marlon? He's not unbeatable of, of course, especially he had his problems against Fan and Dong in the near future, uh, in the past so um, but He's, he's, he's a kind of a machine, but, but he's not unbeatable, but still, if he finds his rhythm and his, his confidence, he's hard to beat, but I can imagine Fan Sendong, this will be a nice final to watch. Are you looking forward now to the T2 Asia tournament? Yes, of course, it's, it's an exciting project. And uh, very professional and some new stuff, new counting system and play f for time and I'm really looking forward to it. I have no idea in the end how it will work out but it's quite interesting and you will see what, what happened there. I had already some pre-production shootings and was quite amazing and they have good ideas and it will be very nice uh, for, especially for the fans and spectators to not just to see table tennis on a high level but also get to know the players uh, privately and how they think and which personality they have so this is quite nice to watch I wish you the best of luck there and Timo thanks for everything Thank you. Thank you. Timo spends lots of time with his fans and all the press. He's seen every single person he spent time with. Match after match here. The World Championships men's doubles Thank final here. One on. Match after match. 
This is a cool area. When there's a pause between the matches, everyone comes over to here and plays this really cool convention area with all different wild tables. I mean, look at this one. This is brilliant. Put Marlon in this table. This one here, these guys are going through. Look at that. Let me know. Incredible techers. Oh. These guys are good. Knock someone out with that backhand. Loving it. Yo, enjoying yourself? Hey. Hey, man. And got tons of mini tables everywhere. Awesome stuff. Hey, guys, all right? Hey. This cool table. All different fun activities, trying to hit, trying to increase the speed, 64 kilometers per hour, huge queue, win prizes for the highest score, An absolute ton of tables, this is fantastic, these guys are in a serious training session, I'm loving it, nice. This is what we need back in UK. Look, get the interest up. It's incredible, you isn't come, it? You come to a major tournament, it's so important to get people involved. You know, 8,000 people here. If 8,000 people tell another 8,000 people that tell another 8,000 mm. people, you're doing pretty well. Completely agree. Are you, how's the commentating been going? Yeah, good. I mean, fun? Learning from these guys that are 30 or 40 years more experienced than I am. You know, I'm hearing good stuff on the internet. People want you now. I've just had a message now saying, yeah. I'm going to be back on. When are you back on? Back on 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock. I'm going to be commentating on that. The little man is in an amazing system, though. I mean, if, if, if every second or third practice you're hitting with guys 10, 20 in the world from Japan, you know, and you're with seven or eight of the, the best coaches in the world, you've got a chance. Even at 13. For me, there's too much emphasis in table tennis about everyone being big and powerful. How about the touch and the skill and all of that is just as important. Timo Ball doesn't blast the ball away for too many winners. It's about the touch, the precision, the placement of the ball. 
That's what a lot of these guys have, the younger kids coming up. Yeah. I think it's easier about how long I thought it was trying to do the same time. Otherwise it's going past me. You keep saying all this about let's buy big and fast rackets and thick rubbers and all of this. Irrelevant. It's who gets in first, who spins the ball low into the middle and starts to rally the way that they want to play. So that's what I'm trying to get across in the commentary, but it's not mm. about just being massive and hit the ball hard without thinking. Really? So I'm here with Gavram Gay. He's going to show me a little bit through the commentary box and see what it's all about. You've got to be fit and athletic to come up here. This is like climbing Everest. Look at this. Oh, I've heard about this. <laughs> so this is us going Jeez. all the way up to the commentary box. Oh, I bet Ian Marshall has a lovely time getting up here. Yeah, a lot of the guys, you know. Bang your head. Sometimes, if you're needing the toilet and you need to go down between matches, you need about 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, if you're scared of heights, don't become a commentator. I bet Adam Bobro flies up these, doesn't he? Oh, he's yeah. jumping around them. Full of energy, that lad. <laughs> Can't believe you look at that. And Amazing this. And here we are. Up. Wow, you can't easily be scared of heights. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the top? Think, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. We just have to be a little bit quiet up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the view out onto the top. Jorgen Persson and Rostov, they fit and they're still going. Yes, what a treat it is for us to, to, have, to have this view. We obviously have our own screens up here, but sometimes I just look right out to get the, the perfect view right down onto, onto table one. Well, where about you sit, Gav? Okay, so, so we've got two commentary boxes here. We have a main commentator and an expert. In this case I sort of set the, the game up and I finish the game off and then the expert Gavin comes in and talks all the sensible stuff and talks all the tactical stuff so hopefully we get a, you know, a, a good combination working together. Obviously we commentate to the monitor. Uh -huh. One of the dangers is that you watch the table mm. but of course on here it could be a slow motion yeah. so you mustn't watch the table and commentate on what you see down there. You must mm. always commentate on what you see on the screen. Um, the guys working alongside us tell us when to come in, when to come out, if there are any technical problems, if our voice isn't okay. Um, and we're working pretty hard, but we're really enjoying it. Lots of games, we start 10 o'clock in the morning, we finish 10 o'clock at night, there are eight of us working. So, yeah, Gavin's a little superstar, of course, qualified in the singles. And he's had first-hand experience, he's played down there, played against Timo Ball on table number one in front of a very passionate German crowd, so we had a good feel what it's all about. Um, yeah, and we're really enjoying it. Very impressed with the Japanese team. They seem to be the team that are surprising people, doing really well. China doing what you would expect. Mm -hmm. Germany looked as though they could have been heading for a great tournament, and you know, Timo played fantastic against Marlon, uh, but just went out. And of course, um, Ovcharov was very unlucky to lose the nice to have another German yeah. in the quarterfinals for the crowd and the atmosphere but you can't have everything the organization very good typically well run by we always expect when we come to Germany it will be very good it'll be very efficient everything will run smooth that's exactly what's happened um, so yeah we're having a great time brilliant brilliant I mean um, now you guys have done a great job and seen some good comments on Facebook especially with a combination of you two so it's excellent good. really good, good stuff thanks Dan. have fun guys enjoy the uh, match What's your predictions then? Harry Mote is going to beat Shushin? I think he's got a chance. I think I think Shushin's a little bit nervous here. Mm. He's not quite flowing like I've seen him before. Yeah, that's so all day for Shushin. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just fighting like a... Yeah, he's just going be, for it. it this, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Wicked guys, enjoy yourselves. We'll see you okay, soon. Thanks, nice one. I've got to try and go downstairs. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Oh yeah, back to these stairs in this men's quarter-final matchup. Oh! 
Ja. only 13 years of age. Done very well in this tournament.